Let's talk about the new property. Okay, another collective property. Freezing point depression. Freezing point depression. Okay, so one thing, let me get this out of the way. Uh, freezing point de depression. Here is the uh, equation. All right, just let me get this equation out of the way. Okay, because the, the equation is, once again, notice it's going to be a change in temp. So this is how we're seeing it, right? Change in temp equals our K, which once again, notice these look very similar. It's a constant. So this is the molo uh, freezing point depression constant for this solvent. Okay, so whatever solvent you got, the constant will remain the same. Here's the units associated with it. And then the M, notice what this is, right? Little M, molality of the solute. Okay, so very similar. These two are very similar. Now, let's talk about freezing point depression. Now that we understand the equation, we get the equation, a very simple equation. But let's talk about what's actually going on here. So, freezing point depression, uh, the dissolved solutes lower the freezing point of a liquid. Okay, once again, the dissolved solutes will lower the freezing point of a liquid. So we look over here, right? Freezing point depression. Right now, right now, we see the liquid is turning to this solid. Okay, and we can see, right, we see the arrows of it going back and forth between solid and liquid, solid and liquid. We can see this happening. Okay, but as we add solute particles, Okay, so if we're adding these new solute particles, right? This is going to lower that rate at which the liquid solvent was entering the solid solvent, okay? So this is going to impact, right, the rate that is making the solid now, our freezing point. The solvent molecules are coming out of the solid faster. So the solid... Okay, so the solid melts or no solid forms. So basically, right, these solutes are like getting in the way of forming the solid now, right? Because it's just so much. You add a lot of solute to it, it's impacting it. So in this case, with freezing point, I added that solute once again, right? The amount that I add will impact how fast we're going to see it freeze, okay? So when it goes to cool this solution down, right? Right, the, the the rate of the solvent leaving this solid is going to be slow because of all these new solute right particles that we've been adding. Okay, is is blocking. Think of it as blocking. It's blocking out the way. Right, it's blocking them. So it's it's making it slower for it to happen. It's not as quick. This is how we think of freezing point depression. A good example of this, right, is if you ever use like salt. Right, if you ever been in a place where it's ice or whatever, etc., like that, um, they use salt. Throw that salt on the sidewalk, right? The reason being, we use salt is because it's lowering the freezing point, right? It's going to lower it, right? Think of the salt as blocking it, right? It's blocking it, so it's not going to be able to form that ice, that solid, right? And we want to see that, right? I don't want to be slipping and falling on no sidewalk. Right, so this is what we're doing. Right, we're adding that salt to lower that freezing point to where it can't ice up as quick. Right, it can't ice up.